So POIS2 is a trial that was published a year or two ago, very large trial of aspirin versus no aspirin in patients getting non-cardiac surgery. And it was completely neutral. There was no difference in bleeding, there was no difference in stroke, no difference in any events. Uh, a trial that I would call emphatically neutral. Uh, now what they're presenting here is an interesting subset analysis. There's about 530 patients in that trial who'd had stents or PCI at least. Um, most of them bare metal stents, about 30, 40 drug eluting stents and 10%, we don't know what sort of stent. Now what is interesting about it is they weren't meant to be in the trial, but they ended up in the trial. So remember this is a, a subset analysis of a group that shouldn't have been there. So you've got to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. But in that group there was a significant benefit from aspirin. Really? And, and uh, what I think is interesting is they did another analysis. They looked at the patients in POIS2 who had coronary disease versus those who did not have coronary disease. And they didn't see any difference in the efficacy of aspirin. So the bottom line was in the group of patients with stents, they did see a benefit of aspirin. So what's the take home message? It's biologically plausible. This is actually my own clinical practice. I don't stop aspirin unless it's absolutely necessary, you know, bleeding into the brain or um, non-cardiac surgery involving the spinal cord or the brain. So, uh, you know, this really reflects my clinical practice. But you also have to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. I mean, it's a post hoc analysis of a group that shouldn't have been there. So the question um, that I would ask of the investigators is does this mean we should do a trial or does it support our clinical practice and that is don't stop aspirin unless you have to in people with stents and I don't think we have to do a trial for that. I think this really does support my clinical practice. It's an interesting analysis as I say it's an analysis of a group that shouldn't have been there in the first place but uh, I, I believe it. You know it is plausible and it makes sense. One question that I would have for the investigators, and we don't have the answer yet, is what was the duration between the stent placement and the period of the non-cardiac surgery? Because we do know that in people with, who've had stents within uh, a month or maybe two months or the first three months, there is a, a significant event rate if you stop aspirin. So I don't know whether these people were a year out or two years out. I also don't know what kind of non-cardiac procedure it was. So, you know, maybe if it is a radical prostatectomy where there can be bleeding, one would consider stopping it. But th those are the unknowns. But in general, I keep people on aspirin if they're going to have non-cardiac surgery, unless there's a compelling reason to stop it.